large civilizations usually die hard. And there's no reason to think that our existing Western society will not do the same. In many ways, we are following in the same footsteps of those majestic empires that came and went before us. As with all highly developed societies, our society has began overextending itself in many ways, plagued with countless inequalities and prejudices of every kind imaginable, society continues to lie and deceive the population, greatly exacerbating the growing tensions. Progressive activists of all sorts are attempting to create anarchy on a daily basis, and it's just a matter of time before some of them begin to succeed, which is sure to open the floodgates of collapse. In this video, we will examine eight reasons why our Western civilization will collapse in the near future. Stay tuned, this is Mind Guilt. Number one, gender confusion. Several distinguished psychiatrists have long maintained that transgenderism is mostly a psychological issue rather than a biological one. Countless medical professionals have advised people not to jump into sex change surgeries as this is the worst way to deal with gender confusion. Yet many progressives insist this is not the case and anyone who disagrees with them are cast out as bigots. But in the end, Transsexuals have much higher mortality and higher suicide rates. When historians examine past civilizations, they often point to an abandonment of sexual norms prior to the collapse of those civilizations. With the constant media spotlights on those who choose to become transsexuals, it's easy to ascertain that our civilization is presently abandoning sexual norms at an alarming rate. Number two, destruction of the family unit. For centuries, the family unit has been one of the most constructive elements of every prosperous empire. The blossoming culture of every society has been forged by the family unit. Free societies in a healthy empire mandate the education of children from these family units in order to extend the culture and create future families. Unfortunately, in Western society today, Nothing has been decimated quite as soundly as the family unit. In urban America today, over 70% of all children are being raised by single mothers. Certain elites are even embracing the sad event by claiming that families don't raise children, society does. Would you want society to raise your children? In addition to this, divorce rates are skyrocketing unless people desire to start families. This means less reproduction and the eventual need to replenish society's workforce. Number three, the growth of virtual worlds. In a well-developed society, it is vital for its citizens to stay involved in their civic roles and duties to assure the overall success of the culture. This is because big societies are under attack on a constant daily basis. Citizens have to be involved to defend laws and goals of their collective communities. Yet as time goes by, more and more people are disconnecting from reality and not standing up for these rights. They are withdrawing from the real world and immersing themselves in virtual worlds. This began with the creation of radio and TV, which evolved into the internet and expanded into social media. But now they can live in a virtual world using VR devices. These devices are created in a society that is, quote, asleep at the wheel, end quote, and not really paying attention to the real world around them. Not only that, they are not as capable of dealing with real life problems. This is weakening our society and making us much more vulnerable. Number four, the obsession with technology. Most of us had heard of Moore's Law, which predicted that technology would grow at enormous rates. That law is several years old now, but has proven to be correct for the most part. We are now seeing companies that are pursuing self-driven cars and robotic babysitters for the elderly. This is great, but several elements of our society are taking technology too far. For instance, 
there is now a church that worships artificial intelligence. The mindset of these people believe that humans are deeply flawed and that artificial intelligence will somehow redeem them. A popular futurist has recently predicted a technological singularity, which is basically the day that artificial intelligence surpasses human intelligence. These tech gurus believe that human consciousness can be perfectly created by a machine. The only problem with this mentality is what happens when our machines and artificial intelligence fails to operate, and it will without electrical power. The more our society depends on this technology, the more vulnerable we become. Number 5. Mass Immigration from Undeveloped Countries Before his death, Muammar Gaddafi warned that Europe would be overrun with migrants should his regime ever fall. This was not an idle threat. Since his death, millions of immigrants have flooded Europe. Most of them are men, and most of them have no marketable skills whatsoever. They have set up huge tent cities in places like Paris and Sweden, where crime rates are going through the roof. In the UK, they have established gangs who recruit young girls to become sex slaves. Needless to say, the lax progressive po policies have done very little to curtail these activities. The United States has a few communities that are safe havens for these immigrants. It is just a matter of time before Western society is extinguished by the sheer numbers of this influx from these immigrants. Number 6. Legal Inequality Nothing creates more dissent within a society or a group of people than inequality. But this is exactly what is happening in the United States in regards to immigrants. Immigrants have been entering the United States illegally for years, and the state of California hides them from federal agents. Not only have these people entered the U.S. illegally, several of them have committed crimes, and local government officials are still protecting them. Yet when an American citizen commits the same crime, they get prosecuted and they get sentenced. But that's not the only case of legal inequality. The elites in our society are not held to the same standard as normal citizens are either. There have been countless times when elites have been guilty of equal crimes, yet the punishment given are not equal at all. Inequality would only tear at the fabric of any society. It's just a matter of time before that powder keg will blow. Number 7. Financial Inequality just like with all past empires and civilizations, there is a growing gap of financial inequality in the Western world. Political leaders continue to acknowledge this gap, yet they continue to make the gap wider. Politicians have the nasty habit of showing empathy for the general population via the mainstream media, but in the end, their voting records always go to the highest bidder. So the gap keeps growing. This practice is not going to continue much longer because thanks to social media, the public is much more informed now. And as elites keep enriching themselves while allowing the citizens to suffer, it's the beginning of the end for that society. Number 8. Drug Abuse As if we hadn't mentioned enough things that can take down our society, we still have one element that could destroy us easily over time, and that's drug abuse. Our society is suffering, suffering from a huge opioid ep epidemic. Opioids are destroying dreams, are destroying families, and they're destroying lives. There are many factors that have contributed to this problem over the years, but the fact is it is slowly eating away at our civilization. Not only does it disconnect people, who are addicted from being a healthy member of our society, it is empowering, it is enriching those evil people who keep providing these drugs to them. And as they earn more huge profits from selling opioids, they are able to provide them to even more citizens. And like a cancer, drug abuse keeps eating away at the fabric of our society. We thank you for taking time out to watch our video. If you enjoyed this video, we would appreciate it if you would hit the like button below and leave a comment about your thoughts. And don't forget to share it with some of your friends. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future discussions. 
Until next time, this is Mind Guild.